Hi, I'm Jim Lynn. I'm the acting provost of Six College. What brought me to Six College was just the opportunity to really affect undergraduate education for about 3,400 students. I'm very much influenced by the fact that I have two daughters of college age. One's at Berkeley and another one just took her ACT exams a couple weeks ago and is writing her college essay. I went to Berkeley. I grew up in LA during the 60s, um, time when uh, Berkeley was having some political unrest and uh, Vietnam War issues. And then I ended up at a small town at Princeton University uh, in the 70s where I got my PhD. And then right after that, my first job was here at UCSD. You know, being a mathematician for 35 years is, I kind of knew the lay of the land in terms of, you know, I've taught maybe over 20,000 calculus students, so that it's like I go walking into the lecture and I don't even think much what I'm doing. But being the provost of a college was, the challenge was could I communicate with students, could I relate to them, did I could I be kind of their friend? And could I also change the um, direction of the university? So one, of, one thing I'm proud about is I, I, I created a diversity conference to, to focus on how we learn in a, about living in a diverse community and how do we teach about power, privilege, and discrimination. That was a huge challenge for me. I could have fallen flat on my face, but um, I was able to create a forum where people felt free to talk about their ideas and um, one of the most exciting things was you'd have major administrators talking to students, talking to grad students, talking to postdocs, all on a peer level. And I haven't seen that at UCSD in, in the many years I've been here. So. What I discovered is that students um, they think differently from when I was a student. I was extremely independent when I was a student and I could study for long hours by myself. That was part of my upbringing. But I think now students have changed. They, um, they learn faster and better when they belong to clubs, when they, um, when they are having fun together, sort of the time flies by and they learn tremendous numbers of things. I think you have to really tell students directly how what you're teaching applies to them. And in the old days it wasn't like that. Students can be really inspired. I think students are really looking for a way to make a contribution to society. And I think that we as profs are not doing a really good job about explaining that. And so um, that sort of leads me into um, I'm thinking of ways as a provost to create learning opportunities for students where they can uh, contribute through volunteer opportunities, they can go out to the community, and through that process I think they can find out better uh, what they want to do in their career. So I think this is, it's just a change of times. You know, when I was a student it was back in the <laughs> Sputnik era where they just needed to have really highly trained scientists, but now I think um, society really needs our help and students, uh, we need to find ways to inspire students to, um, to create those opportunities for them. So we're at a top public research in institution and I think that the students I talked to in orientation, a lot of them said, you know, they're very authentic with me. They said they're scared, you know, that they're even though they're the best in their high school, they're, a lot of them have told me this last week that it's kind of scary here, you know, this big institution, lots of concrete buildings, and, and you know, there's people who is, appear to have more skills than they have. And my message to them is you belong here. You know, that's exactly what you decided to do, is come to a high-powered place and you're gonna, you, you belong and um, 
if you're a little bit behind in something, you'll catch up because you're really smart. And get involved, okay? Get really involved because the one factor that determines whether students succeed here, and, and I've talked to lots of alumni and they've said the same thing, that one of the best things is meeting the other students and hanging out with them, uh, of course meeting profs and teaching assistants, but also getting involved in the clubs. And these clubs kind of provide this outlet where you can you can have fun, but also you're learning at a very accelerated rate. So that's what I'd advise.